one more thing before we go, ladies and gentlemen. So we made fun of Melanie Linsky the other day, just a little bit when we were doing our review for the latest episode of The Last of Us. Well, <laughs> Adrienne Curry got in on the fun and also insulted her, to which uh, Melanie Linsky responded to her. She was not happy. She was not happy about this. I so. think she got PTSD from being called the fat girl in Coyote Ugly. Uh, look, mm. I would... If you just get to be in Coyote Ugly, that's enough. You can be the fat chick in Coyote Ugly. So, she wasn't fat either. She was just like the. She the, wasn't fat. She was it was just, just not, the two thousands, and she wasn't yeah. Piper Parabu hot. So she was just, you know, she was the less attractive friend. So there was this picture yeah. of Melanie Linsky where she's wearing this gown, and Adrienne Curry commented under it saying. Her body says life of luxury, not post-apocalyptic warlord. Where is Linda Hamilton when you need her? She's right. And we did talk about that in our review that like Melanie Linsky's character Kathleen is just bossing all of these fighting age men around and they're listening to her and they're for all no buff. explicable reason. Also, I do want to point out here, this is becoming a double standard in Hollywood. The men in Hollywood are still buff and in shape. Yeah. Like whether you want to admit Definitely. it or not, the men in Hollywood still have six pack abs, are mm -hmm. still in far most, most, yes, not all. Yeah, but the people that are not in shape, even if they're popular, they're not making movies right now. Like uh, the, the, Seth Rogen. Yeah, can't but name yeah, a single movie. That becomes that a part recently. of like, look, that's not the no, like those people. That's part of their character to look like that. The average television actor is in better shape than your average person on the street. They have True. to be because your job requires you to oh, be in front good. of the camera. Yeah. And but in this show- do women prefer dad bods? That's, that's a style. That's, 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 a, that's, a, that's the real question. Wait, no, I, I this think is the hotly fact, debated. I think the, the fact that people are calling it a psyop and talking about it all of a sudden is the psyop. Mm. Because the dad bod thing's been like for a, for a good five years now. Yeah. People are like, oh, the dad bod's back. Ha, ha, ha. It, it was a joke this whole time. And now all of a sudden, everyone on Twitter has a problem with it. All of a sudden, overnight. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the psyop. I think uh, don't be fooled at home. So so Linsky hit back at the I criticism. Wanna, I want to read it with helium. Oh, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I have to <laughs> use the last part of this anyway. Yeah. Oh, wow. Firstly, this is a photo from my cover shoot for InStyle Magazine, not a still oh, from God. HBO's The Last of Us. And I'm playing a person who meticulously planned and executed an overthrow of Fedra. I'm supposed to be smart, ma'am. I don't <laughs> need to be muscly. That's what henchmen are for. <laughs> It, it fits oh. the tone so perfectly. Oh, that's it's great. That's let's, great. <laughs> wow, that's good. Um, wow. If it's the, look, what did we say earlier? Angela Merkel is <laughs> uh, can be smart and in charge. When society is still civilized, that argument works. When society oh, has fallen apart, that argument no longer works. I'm sorry. Also, somebody said, who? Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> <laughs> Melly Linsky, Monica Lewinsky. It's like the same it's the thing. Same person. Same thing. It's same the thing. same thing. <laughs> I love the condescending, that's what henchmen are for, because I'm such a boss yeah. babe. I'm such a boss babe. That men just listen to me, and I, I deserve to be seen and heard. She was the least scary person in the entire world. She has world. a very mousy face and a very mousy voice. It's just, she's not an intimidating person. And that's why I think for Abby's character, because she's like the manly, tough yeah. woman of the series, they're gonna cast a super hot feminine looking actress uh, yeah. just to spite your expectation Take that, of who Abby's incels. gonna be. <laughs> Take that, you incels. Mm. Not only is she gay, she's stop gonna end up with her, a super stop hot woman. sexually objectifying Abby from the last like of Like Pokimane <laughs> saying, how dare you? Look, you can sign up for my OnlyFans, but you're only allowed to objectify me if I consent. Oh, internet. I hate this part. Right. In Style Magazine responded to her tweet and said, we're the henchmen. Oh my God. <laughs> I love corporate Twitter. Let's no. go. <laughs> oh my God. We're like totally the henchmen. Yeah. Like, and then you know that whoever typed that was just like so proud of themselves. Uh, silence it's, brand. It's all, uh, ooh, Jacob Edler says they'll cast Elliot Page as Abby. Oh, totally they, plausible. They will. They will. Not Jason Ritter, uh, the husband, tweeted, you could have just not tweeted it, but you did, and people are upset with what you said. Mm -hmm. Whatever happens now, do not learn anything from this under any circumstances. Dig your heels in <laughs> deeper and double down. Become the victim. You can do this. I believe in you. Look, this is like talking. They're arguing about a TV show. Do these people not exist back in the 90s? All people yeah. ever did back in the 90s on message boards was argue about stuff like this. Yeah. Look, 
It's true. This is not something where you do, you don't have to double down on something like this. It's just an opinion. Yeah. It's not stating a fact. She's just saying she thought she Whoa. was wrong for the role. That's crazy that that is this Melanie Linsky's husband is like just wholly dissing her on Twitter right now. Yep. Why like is that acceptable? Apparently are you that's allowed acceptable. to are you allowed to diss your own your own wife or husband on Twitter? Yes. Dang. Like, who, is he in the other room? Is he sleeping on the couch tonight? Oh, mm-hmm. like, I thought he was dissing Curry. No, no. Yeah. I think he was saying that about, or at least it sounds like it was about this is a Melanie c- Linsky, but maybe it's just showing that he's so yeah. brainwashed that he thinks mm. Adrienne Curry is trying to be a victim. I, I also love here, it says, speaking with Entertainment Weekly after Sunday's episode, Linsky opened up more about subverting expectations with the character. The only way you could have actually subverted expectations if you had turned to a guy and said, what do we do? That would have been subverting expectations in modern day Hollywood. Nobody looks, <laughs> nobody looks at a woman on TV anymore and expects her to do anything but boss babe up. Well, right. they had that scene where uh, there is supposedly this bloater that's living underneath the building and it's starting to, yep. you know, well, ma- you- starting to bubble up from the pavement or whatever in that room. And then they're like, we need to deal with this now and not wait until it becomes an emergency. Yep. She could have backed down and be like, okay, I'm resetting my priorities. I'm listening to your idea like a good leader would. Yep. But these people just prove that they can't write women in leadership roles at all. They don't know how to. They don't know how to, but I think it's because, you know, you see that so rarely in real life that where do you draw reference from? I just don't like, I agree for the most part. I don't agree with the fact that people assume that she could never, like this character couldn't exist in the apocalypse. She could not I in think the role she could. has. I think there, no, no, no. 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 I think there I could. I mean, she couldn't be What, that a Midwestern, like a Midwestern mom? Oh, oh. A, a dude would have immediately You're assuming that people aren't farming. Okay, but is she just getting the lion's share? Yep. She's the leader. Because she's in charge. Yes. But what I'm saying is this happens a lot. Is if you're super manipulative, you could easily convince six foot six <laughs> dudes with guns. But where was her charisma? Like when I watched it, it was just, she Listen, was a very hollow character. I don't think she would have, she might have been able to convince one or two. I don't think she could convince an entire army to fight for her. Maybe, like, yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah, maybe yeah. if she were like hot, like Helen of Troy, yeah. but... I'm not seeing it. Or she's someone of power. That, I mean, again, I, I haven't played the game, so I know people already know the answers to my confusion. <laughs> but, you know, like, I'm just thinking of, like, generically speaking, what if she was a politician, right, before the the, the collapse? And then she's, you know, yeah. and that's she why a, she's a... She was a soft-voiced soccer mom, like Andrea, Adrian Curry said. I didn't even think that was an insult. I saw that tweet. I didn't think that was an insult. I thought she was like, oh, this is cute. It's this is fun. It's an insult to people who hate mothers. Mm, <laughs> true. Yeah. So... She probably took it as an insult, but that's that's just the fact. Like you, you can't believe that Melanie Linsky's character was a politician before the apocalypse. And even if she were, politicians are probably like some of the least likable people. So you're not going to be accepted into a group then. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye guys.